This is the Blue Demon Stay Sharp 2 portable tungsten grinder. It has a 750 watt motor and it can grind and cut tungsten with a long lasting diamond wheel. The precision guide block at the top gives you exact angles ranging from 15 to 30 degrees in all the common sizes and the dust is contained within this included shroud. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use this tungsten grinder. The Stay Sharp 2 comes in a hard carrying case and it has all of the accessories that you'll need to be able to set it up and use it. Let's take a look at the guide up on the front end of the grinder. There are a variety of holes in different diameters at different angles and you can use these to guide the tungsten onto the wheel. There's also this slot here to be able to cut your tungsten to different lengths or if you need to clean it all the way you can cut the end off and a knob for the variable speed. This shroud installs over the end to contain the dust from grinding and keep it out of the air and you simply rotate the slot to line up with the slot that you need to grind. There's also a slot on the end to be able to use the cutting feature and also to grind a blunt edge. These legs can install into the grinder as well in four locations and this allows you to use it either handheld or you can use it sitting on a table and you can rotate to orient it in whatever direction is going to be most convenient to reach the size and angle that you need to. Next we can turn on the grinder and set the speed to be able to grind our tungsten. So pick your favorite style of tungsten and then find the right diameter and angle of hole and rotate the tungsten electrode as you sharpen it to be able to get a nice even point on it and it'll come out consistent every single time. If you don't want a sharp point, you can use one of the guides in the end to put a blunt tip on and grind that point off or you can cut the end off using that slot on the side. Then we'll resharpen it once again and it came out consistent over and over again. That cutting feature is really nice if it becomes extremely contaminated or if uh, you need to cut your tungsten to a different length to be able to use a shorter back cap, for example. Now let's take a look at how to replace the wheel when it's time to do that. So the first thing is to remove the dust shroud with the thumb screw and that will allow access to the guide plate. So you can remove the guide using the included T-handle Allen wrench and this screw and it will remove exposing the wheel. Now in order to prevent rotation of the wheel there's a set screw in the side. By removing that you can install a pin or a small screwdriver to prevent the shaft from rotating and then remove the screw that is retaining the grinding disc. Now these discs are double sided so you can flip it over and use the other side once the first side wears out and they also have that narrow edge for the cutting feature. So after replacing it, it's ready to grind once again.